two days before we were about to embark on a similar trip, this happened. It's fair to say, it left me feeling a little queasy. Seven people have died, three are missing, and 27 more are injured after a giant rock formation crashed onto boats in a Brazilian lake. Officials are scrambling to identify the missing with bad weather hampering search efforts. And a warning, some of this vision may be distressing. A boat full of tourists desperately trying to signal for attention. As they spot rocks sliding down the cliff face. A towering slab slices away and plummets into the water below, hitting four boats carrying at least 34 people. Captured from multiple angles, sending a wall of water like a bomb blast in the canyon. Good morning everybody, welcome back. So we are currently sat in Tuxla. We came down from uh, San Cristobal de las Casas yesterday and um, we spent the evening just chilling out. We went to a little square here and uh, watched a few people dancing. It's very, very nice. So we've just come down here now for some breakfast. Um, we're gonna go on a little tour today, actually. We're gonna head over to a little town called Chapa de Corso, which is about half an hour away from uh, Tuxla here. And then from there, the guy's gonna take us over to, uh, there's a canyon here called Canyon del Sumidero, which um, he takes us up to a, a couple of nice viewpoints. And we also get a little boat trip down to, through the canyon. Uh, so you get a nice view from the bottom as well, cruising through the, through the canyon with all the cliffs either side of you. So really looking forward to that. Just stopped off for some nice breakfast. I've just got some nice eggs, some little platanos and some beans. So um, yeah, we're just gonna finish this up. The guy's gonna pick us up from, from here in about half an hour, so we need to chow down on this. And then we're gonna head over and start the old exploration. So let's go and do this. <laughs> okay folks, so we've just arrived at the canyon. We're going to do the canyon first. So we've just been told it's quite low season now as well. So it shouldn't be too busy at the moment on the old river. So um, we're going to head down here now to where the boats are. I'm not too sure how long we need to wait for the boat, but we're going to head down this way. So yeah, really looking forward to this folks. A nice little boat trip up a canyon, right down my alley, right down my canyon, should I say. <laughs> Oh, just getting sprayed by loads of shite. It's getting sprayed on. Hey, hey, well, here we are. Here we go. This is the beginning of the canyon here. Um, we're going to head up the river this way. See many boats here already ready to go. So, here we go. It's safe as houses safe as houses now, all set to go. So here we go, we got front row seats, everyone else behind as you can see. Let's go and do this. As you can see, there's a couple of platforms here where people dive off, dive off into the water. And obviously, that's the road bridge. Where you can see the see all the little cactuses on the side here. You got a little crocodile there. Check it out. Basking in the sunshine. Goodbye, crocodile. Now you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but there's a huge iguana in the tree here. Well, there's, a few, there's been a few actually, but I can just see one right here. Chilling out. There's many 
birds flying about. And a couple of little monkeys in the tree there, I don't know if you can see them just here. Little spider monkeys. Very camouflaged here though. See him climbing the tree there? Hanging off with his tail. Here is the cheeky little devil. On the good old itch. Looks like he's playing the banjo. Guides just telling us that's a thousand meters high. Wouldn't fancy diving from up there, to be fair. And it's a hundred meters deep, supposedly. There's some high cliffs, man. summer about in the sorry in the rainy season this is a big waterfall So randomly that is a restaurant <laughs> in the middle of the canyon. You can't quite see it, you just saw it on the way there then. Crazy little place for a restaurant, eh? In the middle of all of this. I've just pulled up alongside this little boat here. Got some snacks, I got some drinks. Well, who would have thought? A dos equis in the middle of the canyon. Salud. Llegando todos los rumberos. 
Well, there we go, folks. That was the old boat ride. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Bloody fantastic, that was. So I think now we're going to head over to uh, Chapa de Corso, the town. I just want to do that again and again and again. It was highly recommended if you're here in uh, Chapa de Corso. <laughs> Chapa de Corso. This is the square. It's a huge big open space here. So I guess we're just gonna have a mooch around, see what's going on. Got the old Chapa de Corso sign over there, as they do in every Mexican town. And he was talking about there's a street down there, I think, for all the restaurants and all that kind of thing. So let's go and have a little mooch around, shall we? per usual Mexican style many places to eat instantly it's like a little kind of, sort of food store market type thing typical Mexican style very colorful very vibrant well let's come to the back of the church <laughs> Found the beautiful river view. It's stunning. Didn't realise we were so close to the uh, the river here still. To be honest with you, got a little market here. I think this is a little food market. Going to have a little venture around. Yeah, so I think it's um, pretty much a food market here, but. There's other little things for sale, as usual, as you do in uh, in Mexico. It's a fresh fruit. It's a pretty small little market, but um, I guess it's got everything you want here. Food, tat. Every time I come into these little towns, I just want to walk down the little back alleys, you know? And um, we'll head into the busier part in a minute, but um, I just love walking down the, the more local streets. I mean, <laughs> there's not a great deal to see, but I just find them intriguing, just getting a little glimpse into the Mexican, like the way they just live around in these little, in these little towns, though. No? As you can see, there's no one around here. But um, let's have a little venture around, eh? Let's have a little mission. I'll tell you what though folks, it's a bloody warm one today. It's a bloody warm, supposedly 33 degrees. It's a little bit hot for a ginger boy, but um, hence me being in the shade here. <laughs> Check this little piece of graffiti out. Well, I wouldn't say little, I'd say quite big actually. Beautiful. Some fantastic artists in this country to be fair. Everywhere you look around, there's going to be a little bit of graffiti somewhere. So, we've just found ourselves another little church here. They do like the churches around here, to be fair. There's a nice piece of graffiti again. And here we go. The second church of the town. Not a bad little view, actually, from here. So the main town's back there. And you can see the mountains in the distance, the, the canyon. That'll be where we've just been. <laughs> you 
can see a road down that way that's heading back towards the town so we'll head back that way so we don't have to walk down the same streets but um yeah very quiet actually just very very quiet Hola. <laughs> girl screaming from the car but um yes very very quiet little town let's head back into the hustle and bustle shall we there we go a little pimped up pochito it's got the old alloys on there's another one here too hola another bochito with the old alloys we do like a little volkswagen beetle don't we hey we do like the volkswagen beetles Hola, Some guy is selling fruit and veg from the back of his van there. Platano, bananas, everything, pineapples. Hola. Little stall selling some potatoes and tomatoes. A lot of these little stalls to me looks like um, they're just outside people's houses you know like they just have a little bit of fruit and veg to sell so they just whip up a little stall in front of their front door or porch and uh, sell what they can basically which is very good I think great way to make a little bit of money hard times for a lot of people here I guess you know can't be easy making a living here Colourful streets, man. Very colourful streets. I don't know if you can see in the distance there, that's the church in the main town. So we're heading in the right direction at least. Well, let's go down this way. Let's go and have a little adventure down this street, shall we? It's a hell of a filler job on the back of that car, to be fair. Hola. <laughs> little kids hanging out on the street I tell you what they can handle the heat here I'm sweating like a bloody well I'm not gonna say what I'm sweating like I'm sweating sweating a lot I reckon we should go and find a little bar get refreshed eh So this town, it's only about an hour away from uh, San Cristobal de las Casas, the town we were in the other day, but the temperature difference is massive. I mean, you go up into the mountains a little bit to um, San Cristobal, but uh, Jesus, the, the difference in temperature is crazy, you know? I mean, I was in jeans and a jumper <laughs> yesterday, and now I'm just about hanging on in a t-shirt. Uh, now we're coming back to where the church was. <laughs> this is where we were before, no? So I think what we'll do now, we'll head back down towards that way of town. Um, we've walked back that way. So let's go and see what's beyond yonder. We've got ourselves a little market here, folks. As per, loads of stuff for sale. Not only do you have like the stalls, you also have the people walking around selling their stuff as well, you know, as they're walking around. But we're heads down to the river here. Let's go and have a little mooch down by the river, shall we? So we've got ourselves a little restaurant right on the front here. Let's go and check this out. So many little boats. 
boats here. I'm guessing they do little trips up the river from here as well, you know? Let's go and have a look up this way. Yeah, so as you can see, there's more shops and everything down here. But along the riverfront. Hola, no, gracias. Gracias. More tours. Uh, I've just been Canyon. Oh, great. Si, sí, muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they're all trying to do the Canyon tour. You can do the Canyon tours from here. That's what the guy was just trying to sell me then. So, yeah, as you can see, look, loads of little restaurants along the front here. Shops. Got some shade over there, which I'm going to go and sit in in a minute. I think I'm pretty warm. What a beautiful view. Absolutely stunning. So we've got a guy here selling some ice cream. I think I'm going to grab a little coconut ice cream off this guy here. Hola. Hola, joven. ¿Cómo estás? Aquí nomás. Uh, un coco, por favor. Sí. sí. 10, 15, 20. Uh, 10, por favor. So it's 10 peso, different prices. 10, 15, and 20. So let's see what this is all about, eh? Eso. Ay, muchas gracias. Ay, muchas gracias. Nice little ice cream, folks. A little coconut ice cream. Coco, coco. <laughs> well, that was a nice cheeky little beer. There was nothing on the menu for me to eat, though. I wasn't feeling anything that was on there, to be honest. So let's go and have a look at this other little restaurant that's right on the water here. See if they've got anything on offer. See if I can get anything in my stomach before we leave. So I've just found myself this vibrant little spot right next to the river. I'm gonna get a cocktail de Cameron, a prawn cocktail. All else fails, go for the prawn cocktail. They're pretty hard to find sometimes, but they're very, very nice, refreshing. Um, so it's right by the river here, as you can see. Nice little view while I'm eating here. So uh, this will do me. Well, that was a nice little prawn cocktail. I'm a little bit late going back to the driver. Um, the food took a little while to arrive, so uh, I might be in a little bit of trouble here, folks. I might be in a little bit of trouble. So, without further ado, let's head back to where we're getting picked up. Okay, folks, so we've just come to the first viewpoint. Well, I think we're going to two, but this is the first viewpoint of Canyon del Sumidero. Let's go and check this out, eh? So this is the canyon we've just been down. Let's see one of the little boats down there in the distance. So we're going to head off. Two, we're going to two more stops apparently. So let's go and see what the other two have got to offer, eh? So now we are at the second viewpoint stop okay. of the canyon. So let's go and check this viewpoint out, eh? You've got to love a good viewpoint. You've got to love a good viewpoint. Let's go and check it out. Everyone's real quiet, so I'm going to have to be... It's pretty crazy to think we were just down there a few hours ago. Hammering it around on a boat. So yeah, the guy said on the boat it's about a thousand meters high. So we must be pretty close to that height from here. So I don't know if you can see a couple of the little boats just here. There's two boats cruising around down there. I 
and here is the third and final stop it's just like a minute drive from where we were <laughs> but anyways let's go and check this out looks like there's a little viewpoint from at the top here let's go up here shall we let's go and see what they're looking at from up here here we go there's a little art gallery here look a little art gallery there Jesus Christ, that's high. It's a little bit of a shame that the, the, kind of the time of day it is because of the shade. It's probably not showing too great in the camera. But my, my, my. I hope you can see the river down there. What a finale, what a finale. Well, that's the end of the trip, folks. That's the end of the trip. This is the end of the canyon trip. Chapa de Corso, we enjoyed the little town down there, didn't we? And the canyon, El, I forget the name of it, I'll put it in the screen now. <laughs> you know me, I'm not very good with Spanish names. But this is the last stop of the trip. We're gonna be heading for a back to Tuxlar from here. And, uh, and then we fly back to Playa del Carmen and then I fly home. So, what a great way to end the great trip here in Mexico. I would highly, highly suggest coming here if you're in this part of the world. I would definitely come and see this canyon. Whether it's your kind of thing or not, you know, it um, speaks for itself, I think. It's very dramatic. You don't get to see this kind of thing every day, you know. I think I'll say goodbye while I'm here because what a better place to say goodbye than a huge canyon cliff top. Adios amigos.